It has been a monumentally difficult year. Nearly a year of COVID later, and now a third school semester altered by the virus. It's exhausting to feel every day like people are just mad at you because you want things to be safe for your kids and their families. DPS teacher Katie Martin. I teach third grade. Joined teachers at a vigil to honor the district's families affected by the virus, like one of her former students. They just lost a grandparent last week. So it, it is really affecting so much of our community and we wanted people to know about that. DPS is phasing students back to in-person learning this month, but Katie is still teaching remotely. I would love to be back in person with my students as soon as possible, but there is not a safe plan for that to happen at this time in the district. One person's nerves meets someone else's relief. I'm really excited because I get to see all of my friends and I really like it because I'm more focused um, in school than I am online. What's the best thing about being back in person? Probably playing sports with my friends. <laughs> Thursday night school board meeting featured student reviews on the semester so far and an update on the DPS vaccination plan. More than 2,000 employees are now eligible. Nearly one year, three semesters, and countless feelings, opinions, victories, and anxieties later. It's hard, it's exhausting, but I didn't become an educator to not fight for what was right for my kids and the communities that I serve. Jennifer Meckles, Nine News. To see an updated plan on other school districts, just text the word schools to 303-871-1491 and we'll send you a link.